Hey, what's up? Biotech companies are tricky. They either explode and make you millions or they burn your net worth into the ground. All right, that's a little bit extreme. I'll talk about the key things to look out for when investing in biotech stocks, and I will use Biogen as a case study. But why Biogen? Biogen came out with great data for their new Alzheimer's drug. Their stock jumped 40%, increasing their market cap by 10 billion dollars. We will examine why. Is the company worth investing in or is their stock overvalued? Let me explain. But first, let me go over the framework that I use when looking at biotech companies in general and then apply it to Biogen. First, I always try to understand the company and what they specialize in. What is their secret sauce? What makes them the company that can solve a specific issue? Secondly, I look at the company's fundamentals like their market cap, the PE ratio and other financial indicators. I I like to use Seeking Alpha for this part. They make it really easy to visualize the data and see all of the numbers in one place. The third thing I do is I look at the company's pipeline. I look at the number of drugs that they are working on, the number of drugs in their pipeline, the expected release date, and also their market size and potential for all of the drugs they're working on. You can find this information by looking at the company's investor section and reading through the yearly quarterly reports. I get that this is a lot of work, but it will be helpful if you want to invest in pharma. There's also another tool that I use sometimes called Evaluate Pharma, but this option is a bit more expensive. The fourth thing I do is I research all of their drugs in their pipeline and assess the likelihood of approval and uh, the market share that they could get. This can be done by looking at the company's press releases as well and reading third-party reviews from experts in the field. You might have already known all of this or just want to know how I go about this and are wondering why did Biogen stock jump 40% and was it warranted? So let's get right to it. Biogen Inc. is trading at the ticker symbol BIIB. It is an American international biotech company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They specialize in the discovery, development, and the delivery of therapies for the treatment of neurological diseases to patients worldwide. At the time of recording, the company has a market cap of 38 billion US dollars with a PE ratio of 16. This is lower than the pharma industry average at the current time, which is at 22. This could mean that the company is cheaper than its peers, but we need to have more information to make that assessment. And I'll dig deeper into that. Biogen's revenue in 2021 was 11 billion dollars with a gross profit of 8.8 .8 billion dollars. This was declining from 11.6 billion dollars in 2019. From my research and the data from the Evaluate Pharma database, I found that the company has 35 marketed products, two products filed for FDA approval, seven in phase three trials, and 10 in phase two trials. And the rest you can see right here in this donut chart. I usually like to focus on the current drugs on the market, as well as the drugs that will come out in the next one to five years. So I mainly look at the filed applications, phase three, and sometimes phase two trials. Most of Biogen's 2021 one revenue came from just six products. These are treatments for neurological diseases with a heavy focus on multiple sclerosis, also known as MS. But the company has other drugs for psoriasis, which is an autoimmune disease, hemophilia, and spinal muscular atrophy. Here is the revenue of the company broken down by revenue from the latest 2021 Biogen Investor Report. I have links to this in the description, so feel free to just do your own research here, or let me know in the comments if you would like me to dig deep into this. The company's pipeline continues to investigate alternative treatments for MS and other neurodegenerative diseases and immunological diseases. One of their lead pipeline assets is Zoranolone, which is a treatment for depressive disorders. In addition to that, Biogen is developing another drug that caused the stock to jump last week, and this medication is called Lecanemab. Lecanemab is an experimental drug jointly developed by Biogen and Asai that is currently in clinical trials for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. It was granted the FDA's accelerated and priority review status. In September 2022, Biogen announced positive results from their ongoing phase 3 clinical trial. After this announcement, the stock jumped 40%, but was it warranted? This isn't the first time that Biogen has had positive news about an Alzheimer's drug. One year prior, in 2021, the company announced that one of their other Alzheimer's drug called Adrilhelm was approved by the FDA. This also 
also made the stock jump 40% based on the news. But what happened after? Adrolhelm was the first Alzheimer's drug approved since 2003. However, the approval was controversial due to the ambiguous efficacy in its clinical trial results, and FDA advisors recommended against the approval of the drug. When the FDA approved the drug anyways, three of these advisors even resigned. In the first year of its launch, the drug made only $3 million in revenue, according to the company's 10K. Since the stock jump in June 2021, it has since dropped around 40 to 50% until the news of their new Alzheimer's drug called Lecanemab. But is it worth this time? Let's look at why I don't believe that 40% stock jump was warranted. First of all, Lecanemab hasn't been approved by the FDA and is still in the FDA approval process. Secondly, the company was trading at $195 per share, giving the company a $28 billion market cap. After the announcement, the shares increased in value by 40%, giving the company a market cap of $40 billion. This means that the implied value of the announcement or the drug itself is roughly $10 billion. This made me curious, so I looked further into the drug. The Alzheimer's treatment market is currently valued at $1.5 billion, and it would only grow if an effective Alzheimer's treatment were to come to market. If Lecanemab gets approved, Evaluate Pharma approximates that the drug will ramp up to make up to $1.4 billion per year in 2028. This is super impressive and it would make a blockbuster drug. And it warrants the $12 billion implied value jump from the company, right? Not so fast. The company developed this drug in cooperation with Asai. In their collaboration agreement, it says that both companies share economic equality with Asai, booking all sales for the Canamap and Biogen reflecting its 50% share of profits and losses. Furthermore, the Evaluate Pharma data shows that Asai is expected to take most most of the pipeline profit, but I didn't really fully understand the discrepancy between the investor agreement compared to the Evaluate Pharma data set. This is worth looking into further. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I looked further into the drug pipeline to understand the stock jump, but I couldn't only find Zorenolone, the de depression drug I was talking about earlier. This drug is expected to make around $1 billion per year by 2028 if it gets approved in 2023. But this drug didn't have any major announcements recently, so it wasn't the cause of the stock jump. All this brings me to this conclusion. I think the market overreacted. The news of the new potentially effective Alzheimer's drug is super exciting and it could lead to lots of sales for the company. However, most people probably didn't dig deeper and took the news at face value. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bullish people say that the company is great because they are a market leader in MS drugs and that their portfolio pipeline outside of MS will also help diversify revenues and boost their sales. They say that the company's profitability is boosted by royalty and profit sharing from Roche and other pharma companies. On the other hand, bearish people say that Biogen is a bad investment because its competitors like Roche and other companies threaten their MS dominance with oral treatments. On top of that, they point towards Adrolhelm and see it as a failure in hyping up a drug that had a lot of controversy. I take all of this into account, but I also see it differently. I look at the stock jump and I see that $10 billion were created out of thin air based on supply and demand. And I ask myself, why? Is this worth it? Don't get me wrong, I really want this company to succeed with this drug and help lots of people with this terrible disease. However, based on my analysis, I don't think the news were worth $10 billion in market capitalization. And I am predicting that the stock will revert back to its original level unless the company has some major breakthroughs. If you like this investment review, you will definitely find this video super helpful as well. So check it out. Since you stuck around until the end, hit the subscribe button for more fun investment and startup videos. Comment your thoughts and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.